I think we've come to realize that medicine cannot cure the current population with tablets alone and that most of our problems are down to our poor diet and lifestyle. Because we know, you know, the bare basics of medicine are about lifestyle. Yes, we have great drugs. Yes, we have great technologies. Yes, we have surgical techniques and the science gets better every single day. But the lifestyle stuff is the foundation of health. And without that, you know, we can't combat the majority of illness and disease that we experience in society today. So the British Society of Lifestyle Medicine is a charity with a focus for healthcare professionals and practitioners, but also for patients, supporting people to learn about uh, the evidence behind lifestyle medicine, but also how to practice this in day-to-day -day life, in, in clinical practice and, and at home, and how to make changes. We promote and support clinicians to deliver lifestyle medicine uh, within the UK. Uh, so lifestyle medicine is an evidence-based practice that focuses on uh, the pillars and principles of lifestyle medicine. So lifestyle medicine looks to support people both in terms of their understanding their upstream determinants of health and disease, their social situation, but also creating the environment and the relationship between the doctor that can, and, and the practitioner that can help them understand how to improve their, their situation as they want to. But we do help people change the way they think about their well-being. But the British Society of Lifestyle Medicine is showing the support that people need to cope with the modern environment. And this is the future. The lifestyle medicine approach is the future. We just need to make it generally available. And that means we need to change the, her the way the NHS thinks. We need a cultural revolution. The BSLM has been on a really breathtaking journey since I first joined, maybe five or six years ago now. We've gone from that grassroots organisation to something that's really quite mature now and we're seeing some really big questions and big debates. We, we, we've taken on that sort of strength and confidence now to take on some of those bigger questions around individual responsibility versus societal uh, responsibility, the, the big food debates and, and those, those sorts of larger questions. crucial that we have the British Society of Lifestyle Medicine to be the home of evidence-based good practice um, which is respected and, and trusted. I think it's just so important that we have that. And I think the clinicians of tomorrow need to develop those skills related to assessing lifestyle in depth and um, understanding the applicability of lifestyle to disease and knowing how to motivate um, patients to make behaviour changes, uh, whether it be on an individual level or um, on a kind of more societal level. It's full of hope, full of optimism. It is the true antidote to the burnout of the reality of general practice at the moment. People are motivated, flexible in their thinking, they're, they're you know, full of able to change, they're full of motivation to support others, to mentorship and it feels like a bubbling melting pot of, of potential.